lady here and his old duties. And I'm in Adelaide. Yes, a new city to explore with you and me and anyone else who'd like to join in. I don't know what lays in store in the next couple of days. I've got three days here and a train home. But why don't we find out exactly what this city of Adelaide is all about. First order of business, let's get ourselves a taxi and get to our hotel. Transport is this way, but all I see is subway. One of the great things about Adelaide is uh, the tram system, which where we are at South Terrace Station, uh, and it goes right up to the uh, main railway station, out to Festival Hall, or the Royal Adelaide Hospital, or different routes. But um, the great thing is, it's free in the centre of the town. Uh, once you go that way, it's not, but we're going in today to have a look around Adelaide, and yes, it's free. The public transport is free. For that part of town. What are we gonna do today? That is the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I thought we would uh, start by having a look at St Peter's Cathedral, uh, which I think is the main cathedral here in Adelaide. It's uh, it's a little bit beyond Rundle Mall, so we're gonna take the tram up there, uh, and I think it's closed, but we'll have a little look around. Uh, then we've got uh, the art gallery, which apparently is fantastic. Then we're gonna have a look at Rundle Mall, which is uh, the shopping district. And finally, we're gonna check out Victoria Square and the central market. So, why don't we hop on the tram? Probably because it's not here yet, but we're, we're, when it gets here we can, yeah? Also, I think the tram system here in Adelaide is reasonably easy to navigate, which is great. Um, this is King William Street, or it turns into King William Street, and we go straight up there for about four stops so only about on the train for about 10 minutes and then we'll walk to St Peter's and then come back via the art gallery in Rundle Mall to the Central Market and Victoria Square. This is King William Street in downtown Adelaide folks and we're going for a bit of a walk up to the cathedral Over here, I believe we have the State Parliament. Well, it's a building and at the gate it says government, so that's my best guess. I have to hand it to Adelaide, there are parks everywhere and they're all beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. Luckily, they let us in the church. Um, it's a beautiful church. It's a Gothic revival church, which was designed uh, by the architect William Butterfield. Uh, the foundation stone was laid in 1869. First services, 1877. But it wasn't actually completed until 1902.
little cathedral. Uh, yeah. Really nice. Okay, folks, well, we've got to go back into the city now. It's uh, temperature, it's really starting to heat up. Okay, folks, well, here we are. This is North Terrace, this road here. And uh, we've got sort of a whole row of stuff, which is uh, interesting. We've got the State Library, followed by the Museum of South Australia. Behind me, where we're going to go, we've got the uh, South Australian Art Gallery, or is it the Art Gallery? Yep, Art Gallery of South Australia. And then next door is the University of Adelaide. Uh, so I just thought I'd choose one, and it's going to be the Art Gallery of South Australia, because I've heard it's pretty good. Let's see what they got. Here we are, folks. They've taken my selfie stick away, just like they did at the um, Melbourne Art Gallery. This one is a room of indigenous artwork. So just to let you know, it's actually quite, um, this is, a, this is a picture of indigenous Australians in Tasmania. Um, very, very rare to find a lot of paintings, you know, back in the 1800s with indigenous Australians in them. And here are some more colonial works, I guess. What I love about art galleries is they're always in such beautiful buildings. Colonnades from a mansion in India. Fruit and flowers. And a little bit of Jesus. For your Wednesday day. artist. So what we have here is a couple of uh, people covered in nails and screws. I wonder if it's a commentary on life about how we're all screwed. I like to think it is. Ooh. Now here's something a bit different. This is cool. sort of red woolen spider web. The thing is, how do you, uh, what happens if you want to take it somewhere else? How do you recreate it? You can't. This must have been created in and for the space. Okay, folks, well, all in all, it's not a bad little art gallery, is it? Um, and it's free, so I think the museum's free too, so if you have the time and you're interested in the history, I thought of, I've already been to the museum, I've already done enough, I think, to, to satisfy my uh, lust for museums, which is actually pretty small. Uh, so, yeah, very interesting. They, um, they've gone deliberately for putting the modern art and the older art 
the historical art in the same rooms to sort of make the rooms fit a theme, which I think is really cool. Anyway, Rundle Mall. Scots Church Adelaide Uniting Church. You see, Adelaide is known as a city of churches, but I haven't actually seen that many churches around, and um, I don't think they really like that tag anyway. There's a church behind there, though, as well, and of course we've seen St Peter's, so... Anyway, this one looks cool. Look what I just found. There's a helmet here. I wonder if there's a really, really, really small person hiding underneath it. Okay, folks, we're about to turn this corner into Rundle Mall, a rumble in the Rundle. And uh, here we are. It's this stretch up there, Rundle Mall. It's probably the busiest Adelaide gets is in this spot. I was here for the Adelaide Festival with a school trip back in about 1990 or 1992 or something, I don't know. Anyway, I think we stayed somewhere around about in the middle here and um, we went here a fair bit and it was absolutely packed it was packed like KSN Road well maybe not quite as much as that but it was pretty packed and um, anyway I mean there's things happening aren't there well, a lot of things See, we've got these beautiful uh, buildings here and jewelers. I think there's a few jewelers along here, and you can even buy yourself some uh, some opals. A little mall within a mall, the Adelaide Arcade. The Adelaide Hatters, the place to get your hat. What do you think about that? See, Cartier, Rolex. Ooh, there's a cobbler's. It's quite the modern cobbler's, isn't it? Gift shop. More jewellery. Come to Rundle Mall where you'll have a ball. It even rhymes. And here is the Adelaide Central Plaza, which I think used to have a little roller coaster up on the top floor, which I don't believe is there anymore. Wouldn't it be cool if it was though? You got your David Jones, which is a, uh, you know, it's a department store. So many places to shop to your heart's delight. Some Adelaide pigeons. And I imported them all the way from the UK. That was a real coup. Someone's laughing somewhere in the world. Frickin' dancing gingerbread men. This part's intriguing. Get it, that was a joke. Sorry, I shouldn't blow my trumpet. Okay, that was that was just fortuitous. Oh wow, we've almost walked the entire length of the Rundle Mall. It's slightly longer than I thought it was. I can smell nice soaps now, probably coming from this place called Lush, which looks like a soapery. It's, it's a new kind of term that I just invented. Soapery, where you buy your soaps. And here we've come to the end of Rundle Mall here, where it hits King William Street. Thanks for coming along with that little walk. Okay folks, run them all. Tick. Reconciliation Plaza, I think, and just before up there with the uh, tree and the fountain and Queen Victoria, that was Victoria Square. Well, perhaps it's all Victoria Square. I'm not a local, so I'm not 100% sure. But uh, here we are in the centre 
of downtown Adelaide, just to my right here. We have the Central Market, which is where we're about to go. Um, I just thought we'd go over here and have a look at this lovely fountain before we do that. Uh, what can I tell you? For those history buffs of you, Adelaide was founded in 1836 on the 28th of December, which pretty much means it's the 185th anniversary yesterday. Uh, in a few weeks, you'll see my vlog from Port Adelaide, which is where we, uh, we learn a little bit about the voyage from Europe down under back in the 1800s to Adelaide, which is quite the journey. But for now, let's check out this little fountain. I'm out here. This is the proper entrance to the market with the building behind me. Federal Hall Market. Adelaide Central Market. We are greeted by a cow with words on his side. Coming in. A random waiver there for you folks. Here we are. The market, Adelaide Central Market. Not very open. Some flowers. Some good looking fruity here. Ooh, peaches and raspberries and strawberries to boot. Cocos, exotic fruit and veg. Ooh if you're feeling a bit nutty, and who isn't from time to time. Here we go, the nuts. McMahon's fruit. Pick me, fresh. Ah, oh, ooh, over here. Finding a good cheese is a breeze. Ha ha ha, get it? Okay, shut up, Andrew. Ooh, they're just shutting up the, ooh, look at all these different coffee bean choices. Ooh. Croissant, red, little bit of vino, never heard anyone know. And across here, herbs and spice merchants. Ooh, Moroccan herbs and spices. It's all air conditioned, which is good news. When it's 32 degrees outside, that's not too bad. Ooh, some tasty cakes, not for me. Even something from the yoga shop. Well, that looks like ice cream. Well folks, we're in here. it's been a hot day in Adelaide and we've seen quite a few things. So thank you very much as always for joining me because without you joining me there's no point really is there. Um, I'll be back next week. Uh, we've got lots more to explore in Adelaide. We're going to go some, do some snorkeling, we're going to see Port Adelaide, we're going to go to Glenelg. We're going to see the Adelaide Oval which uh, is hello turf for cricketing fans. So. Stick around for that every Thursday. We're unveiling Adelaide for you. Well, I am. Thank you as always, and may the journey never end.